and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth, and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. We have entered the season the heathens declared Black History Month. This is the only time of the year the heathens are comfortable talking about their savagery. The only history the heathens wants the world to focus on during Black History Month? Slavery. The world is not permitted to talk about the brilliance of the indigenous black people. The world is not allowed to know black people's history before slavery. The world is not allowed to know the identity of the people they have labeled the curse of ham and human trafficked all over the world through the slave trade. They have said, come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. The reason the synagogue of Satan want you to focus on slavery, to distract you from knowing who you are. If the indigenous black people knew the truth, they would humble themselves and seek the Most High to restore their stolen legacy and resources. The synagogue of Satan spent trillions to keep the identity of the indigenous black people under the radar. Israelites, in order to know where you're going, you need to know where you came from. Your history is rich. Once you know who you are, you will love yourself more and value the things the Most High has given to you. The beast system is powered by the kingdom of darkness. We all should know Satan imitates everything of the Most High. By imitating the Most High, Satan will receive the worship he lusts after. By disguising himself as God in the flesh to the world via religion, Satan can better increase his army. Many people serve and worship Satan unaware. This is how Satan became the God of this world and blind the eyes of many. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The veil that is blinding many people's sight must be removed. Let us restore history to its proper context. Black history is world history. Satan ruled this world through the beast system. Everything we know about history and the world we live in is taught to us by the beast system. Therefore, everything in this world is anti-Yah. We should not be surprised of the hatred the world has for the Most High. Yah prophesied everything that is happening in this world from the beginning. Many people are worshiping the image of the beast and being misled in the beast system because of the hatred towards the Most High. And they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? If the people feared the Most High, the kingdom of darkness could not blind their eyes and separate them from the Most High. The anti yah spirit has been walking the earth for a long time. Now that we are in the last days, the spirit of the anti yah is more aggressive and bold. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. In the beast system, everything that goes against the words of the Most High is praise. Satan has manipulated history to insert himself as God in the flesh and his seed, the tares, as the original people. The original indigenous black people, the Most High made in his image and likeness, are being mistreated and oppressed in the beast system. If the world does not accept the Most High, the world is not going to accept the people that are made in the image of the Most High. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, 
therefore the world hateth you. The scriptures reveal Satan is a liar and the father of lies. We cannot rely on a system that is built by Satan to tell us the truth about history and who we are as the indigenous people of the world. Here is what the beast system has taught the world about Ham's bloodline. Sub-Saharan Africans are the only descendants of Ham and they are the curse of Ham. Evangelical preachers in religion preach black people are the curse of Ham. This is a doctrine that has been circulating from generation to generation. This doctrine has been taught so frequently that black people believe they are the curse of Ham. The problem with the so-called curse of Ham, the Most High did not curse Ham. Noah said, curse be Canaan. He said, cursed be Canaan. A servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. Canaan was cursed once more when he stole Shem's land. The Book of Jubilees will further explain the second curse placed on Canaan for stealing the promised land from the descendants of Shem. Too many black preachers regurgitate the doctrines of devils to their people without researching history nor seeking the Most High for answers. The ministers of Satan simply believe their oppressors and accept their fate as the curse of Ham. Israelites, it is important to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Israelites, you cannot leave your salvation in the hands of other people. Study to show yourself approved. Do not simply pass along doctrines you heard without confirmation from the Most High. Passing along doctrines from the workers of iniquity, disguising themselves as ministers of righteousness, has enslaved our people for many generations. Unverified doctrines have misled the masses for centuries. We must come out of the beast system and religion to see the world in the most highest perspective. There is no such thing as the curse of Ham. Religion is not to be trusted. With the numerous doctrines of devils being taught in the pagan church, everyone should disassociate themselves from religion. Religious leaders lied about the curse of Ham. What else are they lying about? Ham had four sons, Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Put, and Canaan. There is a lot of controversy surrounding the identity of Ham's sons. If the world believes sub-Saharan Africans are Ham's descendants, why is there a mass confusion about the identity of Ham's sons? The scriptures reveal the Most High is not the author of confusion. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Satan created confusion to distract the people from the truth. In addition, to create lies to support the false history depicting his seed as the original people and Yah's chosen people, the Israelites. We all should know Satan is full of pride. The scriptures reveal Satan wanted to exalt himself higher than the Most High. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Since Satan is a father, his seed is also full of pride. Everything great that has ever happened in this world, one group of people takes credit for it all. Despite of the many evidence and facts supporting that Mizraim descendants are black, it does not stop the serpent seed from proclaiming to be Mizraim descendants. Mizraim is Ham's son. The synagogue of Satan changed his name to Egypt. To support the narrative of white people being the Egyptians, Satan spent many years planting tares in the region where the ancient Mizraim descendants live. By planting his seed in a dark population, Satan lightened the population to better pass his people as Mizraim descendants. We see this happening before our very eyes today. Biracial and mixed people are the new face of the black race. The original indigenous black people are stripped of their identity. Recently, during the heathens voting system, mainstream media proclaimed four Caucasian women as people of color. 
Every day we see white people posing to be mixed or black. If they are openly taking the legacy and appearance of black people, what is stopping them from assuming the identity of many bloodlines in the past to steal their inheritance? The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Israelites, do not make your womb or seed available to the synagogue of Satan. There is a reason the beast system enforced the one drop rule. It is unfortunate that the indigenous people cannot see the agenda behind the one drop rule. They are quick to support this narrative. The beast system is trying to find ways to erase the legacy of the indigenous black people. In addition, replace the original people with a people that could better support their illusions. If Caucasian women can deceive the people by posing to be biracial and mixed women to claim black culture, what is the difference between biracial, mixed, and white? A dark-skinned black woman cannot pass for a white woman, nor could a light-skinned black woman with woolly hair pass for a white woman. A dark-skinned black man cannot pass for a white man. How can a person with one indigenous parent be a full-blooded indigenous black person? Invading a territory to control it does not make you a part of the culture, nor does it give you rights to the bloodline of people dwelling in the land before the invasion. The invader would be an outsider trying to assimilate into an existing bloodline. Assimilating into a culture does not make you the originator of the bloodline, nor could you demand inheritance from that bloodline. What the kingdom of darkness have done to change history, the serpent seed invade and conquer the indigenous people all over the world, planted seeds to change the appearance of the indigenous population. Instead of creating a new culture or legacy for themselves, the serpent seed took the existing culture and identity of the indigenous people and claim it for themselves. That is how Mizraim, as known as Egypt, became white. A good example I could share to help you further understand how the kingdom of darkness has stolen the identity of the indigenous people and gave it to its seed. Look at South Africa and Australia. The original people living in those lands are indigenous black people. The invaders, the Europeans, are not indigenous to South Africa or Australia. The descendants of the invading Europeans do not claim their European heritage. They will always profess to be Australian and South African to claim South Africa and Australia history. Mainstream media will parade the descendants of the colonizers in the media. The dark indigenous people are hidden. That is how the kingdom of darkness was able to include the tares into the dark indigenous population. The synagogue of Satan was able to claim these cultures and their history through place of birth. The Most High distribute the earth to Noah's sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. These are the families of the sons of Noah, after their generations, in their nations. And by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. Depending on which of Noah's sons you descend from would determine your land inheritance. The Israelites' land inheritance is the promised land. Regardless of who inhabit the promised land today, that land would always belong to the Israelites. Canaan stole the promised land. That is why in the scriptures, the promised land is known as the land of Canaan. And Abram took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan. And into the land of Canaan they came. Canaan's bloodline are the Canaanites in the scriptures. The Most High cursed Canaan for stealing the promised land. Abraham and Isaac forbid their sons from taking a wife from the Canaanites because they were a cursed people full of idolatry. And I will make thee swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my country and to my kindred, and take a wife unto my son Isaac. Although Abraham lived among the Canaanites, he was not a Hamite. He maintained his bloodline of being a Hebrew. 
The serpent seed erased their history of stealing, killing, and destroying and replaced it with the indigenous people's legacy. I hope you're understanding real history. Israelites, you would have to read the book of Jubilees, starting at chapter 8, for more details on how the Most High distribute the earth to Sham, Ham, and Japheth. Ham inherited land that was located south of the Garden of Eden. The climate in Ham's land inheritance is hot. North Africa and the Middle East are one of the hottest areas in the world. I am not sure how people with little to no melanin could survive in those areas, let alone be indigenous to those locations. Before the motherland was named Africa, the continent of Africa was known as the land of Ham. The scriptures reveal that the Israelites sojourned in the land of Ham. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. The beast system said black people from sub-Saharan Africa are the curse of Ham and descendants of Ham. The scriptures reveal the numerous interactions between the Israelites and the Hamites. When Yeshua was a child, the Most High sent Joseph and Mary to live among Mizraim descendants to escape persecution from King Herod. When Jacob, the progenitor of the Israelite bloodline, died, the Cushites mistake the Israelites who were mourning for Jacob for their brethren, Mizraim. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning in the floor of Atad, they said, This is a grievous mourning to the Egyptians, wherefore the name of it was called Abo Mizraim, which is beyond Jordan. Mizraim and Cush are brothers, both are Ham sons. If you know who the Hamites are, you will know who the Israelites are today. The Hamites and the Israelites look alike. The synagogue of Satan are aware of the many references in the scriptures of the Israelites and the Hamites resemblance. This is why it was important to the synagogue of Satan to separate North Africa and the Middle East from the rest of the African continent. The kingdom of darkness spent a great amount of time planting its seed in the land of Ham to claim for themselves the identity of the Hamites dwelling in those regions. Once they assume the identity of the Hamites, they can declare themselves to be the Israelites. Instead of calling themselves Israelites, they refer to themselves as Jews and Israeli. In the scriptures, the Most High compare his people to the Ethiopians. Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel, saith the Lord? Have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt, and the Philistines from Kaphtor, and the Syrians from Kerr? Are you not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? The scriptures do not say the Ethiopians were Israelites. In the beast system, the workers of iniquity made sure to allow a small population of Ethiopians to live in Israel. In order to imitate the prophecy of the regathering of the scattered Israelites, the synagogue of Satan gathered Ethiopians. No other indigenous black people were qualified according to the workers of iniquity. The synagogue of Satan recognized the scriptures describing the Israelites like the Ethiopians. The workers of iniquity had to include the Ethiopians to cover themselves. The Ethiopians are Hamites. They descend from Ham's son, Cush. As you explore Ham's bloodline, the scriptures will reveal how the synagogue of Satan assumed the identity of the Hamites to gain control of North Africa and the Middle East. The scriptures did not say the Israelites dwell in Europe or anywhere near those regions. Somehow, the European Ashkenazi Jews and Sephardic Jews are the descendants of the indigenous black Israelites, while black people are the curse of Ham. This history, the synagogue of Satan does not want black people to discuss and reflect upon. Real history reveals the truth, as well as who the indigenous people were before the workers of iniquity, human traffic black people all over the world. The beast system wants black people to think of themselves as slaves and nothing else. During Black History Month, the workers of iniquity would highlight a slave to discuss his or her accomplishments. Give them a two-minute praise and move on. Black history is too profound to be celebrated on the shortest month of the year. Black history is world history. Do not allow the serpent seed to tell your story. The synagogue of Satan will make sure to elevate themselves as gods. They will continue to take on the identity of the indigenous people to continue to rule until the times of the heathens end. 
and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The serpent seed will continue to steal, kill, and destroy. That is their culture. You have to be blind if you cannot see how the workers of iniquity are stealing from the indigenous people in this generation. The Hamites have a rich history. Before the Most High allowed the invaders to destroy the first civilization in the world, Mizraim, Mizraim was a superpower nation that was led by black people. The reason the serpent seed are in control, the indigenous people sin against the Most High. Therefore, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Once the indigenous people can see themselves in history, as well as in the scriptures, and not in the perspective of their oppressors, they will begin to value themselves and seek the Most High to regain dominion of this world. Everything great that has happened in history was not accomplished by the serpent seed. We live in a society that gives the serpent seed credit for the accomplishments of the original people. The synagogue of Satan makes sure to ingrain in the minds of the indigenous population that they are superior and they must be respected and valued. The synagogue of Satan has whitewashed history. Israelites and indigenous black people all over the world, you must remember who you are. You are the people that is made in the image of the Most High. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. We live in a world full of illusions and duality. Despite of the conspiracy against the indigenous black people, the truth is out there if you seek it. The scripture said, in the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Regardless of how many times the synagogue of Satan rewrite history and alter the scriptures, the Most High will continue to reveal truth to his people by his spirit. For the numerous lies told by the workers of iniquity, the Most High will reveal truth. Ask the Most High to reveal truth to you. Once you know the truth, the truth will make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Israelites, the history of the indigenous people is so great that the serpent seed rob you of your history to claim it for themselves. Indigenous black people of the world, do not discard who you are because the beast system despise you. Stand your ground and claim your name and legacy. You are royalty and you shall rise again. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. 